Uh, after that defeat, and I have to say that was a blow in our faces, and true, when I said what I said on ZNBC, I was extremely confident that we would form government, that we would get back into government. I had no inkling whatsoever that we would lose in the manner that we did. A difference of one million votes is quite devastating. But I have to say, within 100 days, we realized that that bashing was a very temporal bashing because the Zambian people already are coming back to us and saying, what did we do on the 12th of August? What hit us for us to decide to vote uh, the PF out? And a lot of people are actually saying, what we voted against, or they put, put differently, they say, the 12th of August elections were not about voting for a party, it was just about voting against the patriotic front. Mm. You know, and when you ask why did you vote against us, they tell us things that we ourselves already discovered during our post-mortem. As you're well aware, we spent some time, we sent people around, across the country to go and ask these questions. And uh, <coughs> there are a number of issues that were raised. Number one, uh, some people tell us that uh, we had become arrogant uh, some people tell us that uh, we were not exhibiting to the Zambian people that we were firm in the fight against corruption. Uh, some people also tell us that we tolerated uh, hooliganism. Some people call it cadarism, but uh, I think it's much more than cadarism. It's more hooliganism, that we allowed our members to do things that uh, ordinarily the Zambians wouldn't expect. So th these are the issues that uh, people are voting against. So. Truth be told, a number of people that I've spoken to are saying we did not vote against you, but we voted against the things that you were doing. And uh, this gives us a lot of hope. Uh, already people are coming back to us and saying, well, now that we have a new team in place, we can now compare. Initially we had no comparison, but now we can compare. And we see that actually we shouldn't have voted you out. We should have probably found a, another way of punishing Before you. Before we, we begin to compare and uh, contrast, <clears throat> do you admit um, the concerns that, um, of course, the, the people of Zambia have submitted regarding all the issues to do with the arrogance, you know, in your political party during the, your tenure in office, the issue of cardinalism during your tenure in office? Do you admit all those concerns? Yes. Right. Uh, I did tell you that when I went on that ZMBC program, when I said, I'll come back here, yeah. and I'll come and say Wanyala, obviously that was uh, some arrogance. Right. Uh, I, I, I have to say, that was quite arrogant for me to have said that, because uh, I was exhibiting overconfidence, yes. and overconfidence mm -hmm. is a product of arrogance. So I have to admit that uh, the Zambian people are right when they say to us that they kicked us out because of these things, they are right. We must be judged by the people. We cannot judge ourselves. And this is the reason why we in the Patriotic Front readily admit that the Zambian people made their decision because there are things that we did which didn't please them. Had we done everything to please them, they wouldn't have kicked us out. So it's a fact, and we just have to admit. And uh, also bear in mind that Admission is the first process in healing. Right. You know, if you want to heal, you first have to admit your wrongs, confess your wrongs, mm. and then ask for contrition. Then you're going to become a better person. Right. And the Patriotic Front, as Vice President, I have to say, when we got the report, the post-mortem report, mm. we did not defend ourselves. We right. said, this is what the people said, mm. and we have to admit. So, we admit... And for those who voted for us, the 1.8 million, the only thing we can say is, sorry, we apologize. Hadn't we done what we did, you 1.8 would have been the 2.8. So we have to admit that and apologize to our people and assure them that we are learning from our mistakes. And because we are learning from our mistakes, we want to become an even better party. We want to be better than we were, 